I have this super cute, super fun, and super easy DIY for you guys today. This is a DIY rhinestone baseball cap. This cost me around $12 to $15 to make. In total, um, I have shopped around these on the internet, and they, like, minimum starting out is $50. Like, I've seen them. That is the cheapest I've seen for these hats is $50. They just go up from there. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Super easy, super fun. Um, you're going to need a hat, a baseball cap. You're going to need clear silicone which we will talk about in a little bit. We're going to need water just to stay hydrated and you're going to need rhinestones. You're going to want to use clear silicone because clear silicone dries clear. If you use white silicone, you're going to have a white background. It's not going to look as good. It'll, it'll look sloppy. It'll look messy. And plus, if you're using a colored hat like black, like I am, you'll see white streaks that you accidentally get anywhere on the rest of the hat. Clear silicone, don't have that problem. It dries clear, super easy to work with. It doesn't stain. Silicone works better than E6000. It works better than Gorilla Glue, Elmer's Glue, any of these glues. I've seen so many crafters use E6000. No, don't bother. Silicone is cheaper than E6000 and it lasts way better than E6000. Literally, people use silicone to work on like bathroom, home improvements. They use it to work on um, at, like home and outdoor crafts. So really what I'm just doing right now is I'm putting on a little dab of silicone, just a tiny amount. You don't want to use too much, otherwise this project will start getting really messy and that is not what you want. I do have two um, rhinestones on just to show you kind of like, I wanted to test it out and just to see like it really did make sure it was easy and not too messy. And I had let it dry overnight. They stayed on amazingly. So I went ahead and started with the rest of this project. So um, earlier, I have used this silicone for about six months. Uh, this cost me like $6. I've used this silicone for six months for other projects. So like earlier, I was just wiping off the um, tube just to give myself like a fresh thing to work with. I have two sheets of paper towels here. One just to keep my rhinestones on and my hat on so I, I don't get it all over the table if I do happen to make a mistake. The other I have to wipe my hands on because pressing in the silicone, the rhinestones into the silicone, like you really want to press them in there. And if you do happen to get any on your fingers, it's not a big deal. You just want to make sure you wipe off the um, silicone onto a paper towel just so your, your rhinestones aren't getting dirty. Uh, I bought a giant bucket of rhinestones that I've used to make makeup brushes with. That was $10. I have had that for almost a year now. And seriously, like I paid $10 and there were like five to 8,000 rhinestones in this bucket. The only downside is, is there are different size rhinestones. So that's why it doesn't seem like the rhinestones may be lining up later in the video. It's just because they're all different sizes. Um, so I just finished aligning the top of the brim with rhinestones. And now I'm doing a second line of rhinestones. I'm chunking off this hat in little sections just so it's easier to work with. Like it was much easier just to like work with everything in smaller chunks. It made me feel like less overwhelmed. Um, this project took me about four hours to complete, which in all honesty, I was very surprised by. I really thought this would take me at least a day to do, but it took me four hours, which I was shocked. And by the time I'm doing this second row, the first row of silicone is already dry. It's already dried clear. It's already set to go. So the only problem that I had with this project, it really wasn't even that much of a problem. It was some of the rhinestones that I had were scratched on the bottom. So like the top of the rhinestone is clear, um, but the bottom side, the side that you're attaching to the hat is silver. Um, and this is more of a manufacturing problem. The silver side, was scratched so it kind of made my rhinestones appear like they had little pieces of string attached to them when I attached them to the hat so I would just remove them and that kind of got a little messy removing them because they already had silicone on them I kind of learned on like further into this craft to look at the rhinestone before attaching it um but I would say maybe I lost four or five to this manufacturing problem. So as you can see here, I literally just did a square of the hat and now I'm working on chunking off another hat. I did line the side of the hat just to make it a little bit easier for me to follow in a steady pattern. I do want to say 
that um, I am doing a second technique. So instead of putting on each individual rhinestone, like each individual piece of silicone, I mean not piece, like dollop of silicone, that way would have taken me a lot longer, but it was a lot less messy doing that way. As somebody, I'm just naturally impatient. Like I'm always trying to find ways to speed everything up. Um, doing it this way, I basically, what I'm doing right now is I had already taken silicone. I had squeezed some out of the tube and then I had used the applicator, I guess is what it's called. And I kind of brushed it out. I thinned it out. So there was a large section of silicone that I could just take and work with. Um, you do kind of have to work a little quickly with this because it does dry. It does dry rather quickly. Now, I'm not saying that like it's down and it's dry. It, it takes a couple minutes to dry. But if you see the shiny parts of the hat, um, that's where there's still wet silicone. Having each section done and placed with silicone really helps speed the process up. I found that I was able just to put the rhinestones down and I was able to like rearrange if anything happened. So this is what the front half of the hat looks like covered in rhinestones. I would say that this took me this took me the longest. This took me three hours to do. Um, the brim of the hat took me an hour. Like it did not take much time. I would say the only reason why it took me three hours to do is kind of like later on into the project, I figured out, oh, maybe if I paint down the silicone, like that'll be a lot easier. Again, I just used the applicator of the silicone bottle to like rub it across the hat. You'll see me do that with the brim of the hat. But um, again, because a lot of my pieces were different sizes, I kind of had to like mix and match and kind of like push them around just so everything fit tightly together. I hated having big gaps. So right here, you see me kind of painting on that silicone. I'm just putting it on the hat and then I'm rubbing it out um, just so I like, I have a nice, easy, even base to work with. You do want to make sure that when you're painting it out, you still have a decent amount of silicone. Like if you see the small streaks, um, on where I'm putting the silicone. That's where I have a lot of the silicone. If you don't see anything shiny on the hat after you have put down your silicone, you need to add more silicone. Having a decent amount of silicone really allows the rhinestone to get in there and stick, stick really firmly. Like it's literally like you're melding the hat and the rhinestone together. Like this will, this can be washed because the silicone is waterproof. So you're not going to lose your rhinestones. The only reason why you would lose any rhinestones is because like user error and you didn't put on enough silicone. Um, again, you really, really, really want to make sure you have enough silicone. Otherwise your gems are just going to fall off and this isn't going to last you a while. Like I've made other projects um, with silicone hats and it lasted me a good while. Really, it was just because I didn't like take care of it and I would like let my cat sleep on it or something would happen and that's the only reason why I had to throw out the hat but it's just because the hat got dirty not because any of the rhinestones fell off um this hat I wouldn't say it's uncomfortably heavy but it is it does have some weight to it I really really like working with the silicone in the bigger chunks because if you can see right here the lining of my brim isn't super even but as I finished up the brim um and even when I was working on the cap part I was able to move everything around like if the silicone hadn't had dried yet I was able to push the rhinestones around get them to group a little bit closer put in smaller size rhinestones if I didn't like the sizing of a certain one or put on bigger size rhinestones if I needed to fill in a gap like you can move these around when you put them on the hat as long as everything isn't dry which is amazing um I would say if after this if you decide to make this hat you can wear this after like two hours. Like if you just let everything set for two hours, you'll be all set to go. However, I let mine dry overnight um, just because I really wanted to make sure everything stayed on really, really well. The biggest suggestion I would make to anybody who is looking to like make this hat is make sure your fingers are clean because if you have silicone on your fingers and you pick up the clear side of the rhinestone you're gonna get the rhinestone dirty and it's gonna look like you have glue on top of the rhinestone and that's just not a cute look it's gonna look messy it's gonna look dirty and it's not gonna sparkle as well like if you want this to sparkle make sure your rhinestones are clean but do not fret if you happen to accidentally put too much silicone down 
and you get some silicone on top of the clear part, don't worry. Get a paper towel and just gently wipe up um, the silicone. Make sure you do this while it is wet. Do not wait for the silicone to dry to wipe everything up because once it's dry, the rhinestone's ruined and then that's a whole, that's a whole mess. Just make sure you have a little paper towel and wipe it up. Make sure your fingers are clean. Um, if you accidentally move a gem around and like it's not that big of a deal, just wipe it up. Um, right here, I'm just finishing up lining the brim. I found that lining the brim and lining the top of the cap, that really like, made everything just a lot easier. I felt like the process went a lot faster because like once the brim was lined and everything was even, I was ready to like just go in and get everything done. Um, as you can see, like I'm putting on the, the rhinestones and here you saw me pick up one that was bad, but I'm putting on the rhinestones um, and I'm, I'm just pushing them down right here. I'm pushing them down and I'm really getting them really super duper close to the brim of the hat. In all honesty, if I wasn't the glam goddess that I am, like if I just wanted something kind of subtle, I would have just left the hat um, lined with the rhinestones. I think that's super cute too. Like I think this look right here is super duper duper cute, but I'm a glam goddess so I had to come through and I decided that I wanted to do the whole brim of the hat. So right now I'm just putting on and painting on a, um, the rest of the silicone, cleaning off my applicator because the glue started to dry so it started to get chunky. So not a lot of the glue came out. That was another problem that I had with the silicone, but you're gonna have a problem with any glue. Like you know how you use Elmer's glue and if you don't use it for a while, the glue will like get in there and dry up. I just, to avoid that, I just keep cleaning the silicone with a paper towel. Really not a problem. Um, this also, I really liked working with this because it's thick. The silicone is a thicker substance because it's a heavy duty glue. Um, this is not watery like Elmer's glue so it doesn't run around everywhere and you're not like oh no my glue like you, it, if you put it down it's staying there it's not going anywhere unless you paint it out like I did I figured you didn't want to see everything but this is the hat all finished look how freaking gorgeous this is look how gorgeous and appreciate it that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked watching it. Let me know if you did by liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Bye.